Hi everyone. Let's solve yet another tricky question in SQL. If you've not watched the first three videos of SQL interview tricky questions from this playlist, please go ahead and watch this. Now, let's see the question. The question is again same. We have two tables A and B. We need to give the output of the following three queries. What are the queries? Do an inner join from table A to table B on a condition where A dot ID should be equal to B dot order ID. This is the first question. The second question, there's no change except we are changing inner join to a left join. And in third question, the change that we are doing is we are using full outer join. We've actually solved this question, but now I have done a little bit of trick. I am introducing null values. Okay. And we'll try to solve this question and get an answer. So let's see the answer of the first question. What happens is this one, it will join with this one. Yes. This one, it will also join and this one will go to the last element. There is a null. Null means an unknown value, unknown value and unknown value does not join with anything. Okay. So for an inner join, this one is joined with the two ones, right? So this one and this one is coming here. The same one is here and this is the second one. So this is the inner join question till now. Now for the second element two. What would happen is it would go to the table. It would search all the elements. It would not find anything, right? And since it is an inner join, it would not return anything here for the last element, which is null, right? As I said, null means unknown. It will not join with anything. So, so don't get confused that this null, this is where students make a lot of mistakes. Don't get confused that this null and this null are same. They will join. No. Okay. Why? Because null simply means an unknown and it doesn't join with anything. Okay. So this null and this null in the case of inner join won't join. So the answer for question one is this one simple, right? The tricky part that I had introduced was these two null values. That is why I'm using a color code, right? This null and this null and you'll see in the next two questions how easy it will become for you. Now let's see what would have happened in the left join case. So this is answer one. Now see left, left join question number two. So the first element remains the same. You will get till this part, right? This is, this is the same for the element two. We've already discussed, right? It will go, it will search all the elements. It will not find anything. And now in this case, it will return a null value, right? But see which null value is coming. So this two, it should return a null value. And this is not, this null value is not returned, right? It is returning the null value. This null and the null that is returned are different, right? Don't get confused. That is why I'm using this color code. Okay. So this too, it returns a null value, not this value. Okay. Don't get confused here. And what happens next? This null value, as we've said in left join, all the elements has to happen, even though null is unknown, but it is still an element. So this null will be present, right? This null will be present in the case of left join. Okay. This null will be present. And what would happen? It would try to search everything as we've already seen null does not join with anything. So this table will return a null element and this null, this null, not this null element, right? It will return a null element from the table. This is important. Okay. That is why I'm using color code. Now this becomes the answer to, right? Now this is the answer to. I hope this becomes very, very clear, right? Why there are two values? Okay. Why two and null is coming and this null and null is coming. This is, this is left join. Now see, now see, I'll, I'll confuse you again. The third question on this one is full outer join. What is full outer join? Full outer join is nothing. It's a concept where we say that both the tables, this was inner join, tick. This was left join. And this all, all elements, this is full outer join. Okay. When all the elements join, it becomes a full outer join, right? So every element in the condition should be present. That is what it is saying. So what will happen now? It will remain something similar. This one, it will join with these two ones. It will not join with the null. This two, it will not join with anything. This null, it will not join with anything, right? Now what happens is, in this table also, we are saying that all the elements, right? If they have not joined, they should be present in the full outer join table. 
right so here one and one have already joined with some some someone some element here right we've seen that this null has not joined with anything right so this null it will try to search all the element and since we've already discussed null does not join with anyone right so this null it will also throw a null value right this table will should throw a null value okay so this is how the answer comes you get another null and this null value is here this is the answer now for question number 3 for full outer join very very easy right and i hope everyone understands this part right this color coding is telling you which null is coming this null for the two case right be it a left join or full outer join this entire table it is searching and it is not finding anything common so this table is now returning a null value okay same thing happens here also for this null right and now what happens is for full outer join we have seen that even the left table every element should be joining it should be present so this null value is now trying to find an element as we've discussed null does not have anything uh, it does not join with anything it is an unknown value so this table returns a null value so this is the null value that is the answer of inner join left join and full outer join this i think if you watch one two and three videos of this series joins will become extremely easy for you and you will never get confused in interviews i hope this helps thank you